dimensions of intimacy. <laughs> One of the ma major things that validates our existence is the depth of our intimacy with God. You know, one of the questions I had when I started growing in God and studying the word of God was God is called God. He doesn't need anything to be God. So what is his gain in all of this equation, this system that he has built? What does he stand to gain? What? Because every time we come to God, he's blessing us, empowering us. What exactly is his own gain in this equation? Because he is also a business being. He doesn't do things just for nothing. And God began to show me some scriptures. And one of the scriptures God showed me is Deuteronomy 32 verse 9. He said, for the Lord's portion is his people. He said, Jacob, Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. What God gains in the equation is the relationship that he has with us. Because he's a being of love. It was love that motivated creation. The Bible speaking in Revelations 4.11, when the elders were talking, you know, the elders are the custodians of the secrets of God. And there was something they said. They said, all things were created for thy pleasure. So God created this universe just to have intimacy with us. As he interacts with us, as he enjoys the intercourse and the intimacy that he has with us, he is fulfilled. And that is what brings validation and essence to our existence. And so intimacy is a heavy molecule in the spirit. And so any Christian that wants to make the most out of his existence must understand how to journey in the corridor of intimacy. And that is why tonight I just want to show you three dimensions of intimacy. Because I've also come to realize that one of the major problems of Christians is that they don't understand what it means to have intimacy with God. And because they don't understand it, they don't know how to grow in their walk with God. The Bible said, Enoch walked with God and was not. Now, this guy perfected intimacy so much that a point came, God said, come. He said, Enoch walked with God and was not. And it's not just that he vaporized. He said, God took him. This guy had known how to touch the heart of God so much that God collected him from among men and said, don't die. Come in this your form. The way you are like this, come. I want to keep you like this for eternity. <laughs> you have known something. You know how to access my heart. You know where to touch to bring joy and pleasure to me. So come. You, you shouldn't live among men. You are a blessing to men. They don't know. Now, in the days of Enoch was the time when men were living for 900 years, 700 years. But God said, no, we can't wait until they come to heaven. And he climbed Enoch to heaven to meet him, to stay with him. Enoch walked with God and was not because God took him. That's how relevant this guy became with God. God, he knew something about intimacy so much that God could not even take the risk of sending him out anymore. Don't go and preach again. I know you are preaching righteousness because Enoch was a preacher of righteousness. He said, come to heaven. Come and live with me. This thing you are doing, even when angels don't know it, stay here. You know, hope you know the reason elders, the elders stay with him is because they are the ones who know how to touch his heart. The Bible says day and night, they cast their crown. They fell on their faces and they say, holy, holy, holy is the Lord. When they started it, they say, get thrones. He put thrones around him and kept them there. Don't leave this throne room. Other creatures now discover that this thing is a secret. So the four beasts now stood day and night. <laughs> so anybody who knows intimacy God brings him close don't live here stay here so if you want to have access to the courts of God to the assembly of Zion then you must know something about intimacy and you know one of the greatest powers that you can wield as a mortal is the right to stand in God's presence in fact the Bible speaking they say blessed is the man that God causes to approach him that God causes you to approach him alone he said is a blessing. When Gabriel was talking to Zacharias, he didn't say I'm an archangel. He said I am Gabriel that standeth before the presence. Because I am Gabriel and I stand in the presence, be dumb. And the man went dumb. That means there are powers allocated to intimacy that we don't know. It could also mean that the reason, the quality of our lives 
seem to be so helpless and vulnerable is because we don't saturate ourselves sufficiently from the presence of God. 